So let's look now at public debt sustainability. So imagine we have a stock of government debt in the form of bonds. And every year the government uh, adds a new uh, flow to that stock if it runs at a public uh, deficit, PD. Public deficit, it's actually counter-cyclical. That means that if we are at a boom in the economy uh, with low unemployment, then uh, a lot of people working will be paying taxes, so tax collection is high, and uh, there are very little uh, unemployment benefits being paid, so there is low um, government expenditure. But if we are in a crisis uh, with high unemployment, then um, not many people are working, so tax collection is low, and a lot of people require unemployment benefits, so the government expenditure is high. So when we are in a crisis, uh, public deficit goes up, and when we are at a, at a boom, uh, the public deficit goes down, so it's counter-cyclical. Public deficit looks something like this. Um, we first have a primary deficit, which is just uh, the uh, government expenditures of the year minus the tax collection. And then we have the interest that we have to pay for the debt, the outstanding debt that we carry on from previous years. That is this interest rate R, which is constant. We cannot affect R. It is given times the stock of debt of bonds uh, from previous year. Now, the budget constraint expression says that uh, the change in government debt, the change in the stock, that is uh, bonds, uh, public bonds today minus public bonds yesterday, uh, are equal to the uh, basically the primary, the, the public deficit of this year. So the public deficit is the number of bonds that have uh, to be issued this year, which is a flow. We can rearrange and take these over there, and we get this, which is just this, times the previous year stock of bonds. So the level of debt at year T is equal to all this. Now, imagine that we start with a balanced budget, that is, uh, the balance, uh, the, the, the primary deficit at uh, year zero was equal to zero. All that was collected was a spend. But now, at year one, we decide to run at a deficit of one unit. That is, we increase or uh, we increase taxes or we decrease government expenditure by one or a combination of both. So, if we want to know the level of debt that will remain at year one, we have to know that uh, the outstanding debt was zero and uh, then this is all zero. And we know that we are running at a deficit of 1 because we are either increase government expenditure by 1 or decrease taxes uh, by 1 also. And we have that the outstanding debt at year 1 will be just equal to 1. That is the increase in uh, the primary deficit.